for many kids, you know, they may be put off by science or intimidated by science. So when you start talking about a program like Expressions, now it allows a young person to say, oh, well, I can handle that. That's not overwhelming. That's comfortable for me. And now I can add my own spin to it. I got a new take on like a new opinion, a way of thinking, a way of looking at a certain topic that I hadn't seen before. It's making choices. Uh, they have to you know, decide what they're going to do, which puts a lot of what they're going to accomplish on their own shoulders. I think it helped me use science and kind of mesh it together with real world problems. Watching that light bulb go off in a kid's mind, wow, that is an amazing idea. This project taught me a lot about myself, that like I can go beyond like my normal ideas and make projects that are very surprising to me and others. What happens with kids, especially at this age, is that you know they're shaped by their experiences. They're shaped by what they're exposed to. So what I like is that this particular activity, this program, opens up a whole new world for them. Um, again, it requires them to look at science and to approach science through multiple lenses. Through interpreting the research and the science, the science behind it, you may not understand all the terms and um, the different words and the theory behind it, so it gets you to investigate, it gets you thinking, um, you look up these words, you look up these topics, and then that may spark kind of almost a passion for science that you thought you had nothing in common with. There's so much personal story and emotion that goes with any of the research that they look into that it sort of transforms the subject into a lot more than they would expect. We were talking about research and we were talking kind of holistically. We're talking about medicine, we're talking about the human body. We're applying that to painting and drawing. I personally I learned a lot more about you know how to mix art with science, you know, and explain research in a way like a three-dimensional way that people can kind of see it. It kind of helped me get a new outlook on science and kind of a new interest. The biggest transformation for a lot of these students is that they get to approach their work in a way with a real more definite purpose. Uh, they're kind of getting away from classroom assignment a little bit and more in terms of really interpreting something that a, a wider audience is going to see and that they could really make a statement about something that has the possibility of more than just I'm doing this for a grade. I wasn't really sure on what to do and I think it kind of strengthened my mind a little bit to kind of think outside the box a little bit. the collaboration where there, there's more interpretation going on between what the, what the science aspect of it is. It's being looked at in multiple ways by uh, medical professionals, other people to see are you really saying what you want to say or, or how you're saying it. The fact that students are working with students together on a project is, is the most powerful thing. It was really fun like collaborating with our teacher and with the kids in our class. We were all like bouncing ideas off of each other and it really helped. It was an approach to learning that is very different than most high schools. You know, you go to English and then 40 minutes later you go to math and 40 minutes later you go to art. But there's not a lot of connection. It's pretty isolated still. So this project gave us a chance to kind of bundle it all together in a way that public education doesn't often do. And life does, totally. NOSIC is a coalition of healthcare systems in the region that want to make sure we have the talent we need to fill the jobs we have. So our organization views a project like Expressions highly valuable because it does give youth that opportunity to not only hear what these 21st century skills are, but put them into practice. And getting that experience to create such a, a unique perspective on how science applies to everyone's life is something that 
is highly valued because they're going to run across that as they get older and into the workforce. Well, I wanted to write about my grandma who has Alzheimer's disease. We've always been really close at the heart and just to see her go from my grandmother who can remember everything and to now know that she barely remembers me when she's talking to me. We do have family members that, you know, sometimes get a little frustrated when she doesn't recall something that was just told to her less than two minutes ago. So I thought if I write a nice literary piece of work and they read it, they can maybe understand and look back and reflect on how they were acting and possibly change their ways. When she read it to me, to be very honest with you, I cried because um, she got it. She understood it. I tried to inc incorporate the scientific meaning and how it affects the patient and also how it takes an emotional toll on the patient itself and the family. For a youngster to speak for an elderly person and speak what they're going through on a daily basis, I think that is astounding. I think that is amazing. Um, it's profound. And that program that you have, it gives those kids to reflect and to express in that manner. We did have some of our students who participated in the program as artists then go on and work in the internship program. It has directed some students into areas of working in a medical setting that they hadn't possibly thought of before. Our region is a healthcare mecca. There are so many opportunities. If you want to live here, work here, and grow here, and have a family here, this region has so much to offer, and healthcare really is an industry that wants every single kid that wants a career. It means we need kids that are in programs like Expressions to help us craft that. The Expressions program is challenging, but it's not overwhelming. I mean, the kids, with guidance, they can see that it's doable. And then from that, then they can move forward and look at other aspects of their life and say, well, again, if I can do this, then I can do anything.